Hey guys, welcome to another Reaper Block tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make GIFs in Reaper. That's G-I-F, GIF or GIF, whatever you want to say, that's not the important part. Let's make something. So first we need a video clip. I'm going to use one from the Just Cause 3 trailer. Uh, there's a section on tanks, so I'm going to grab that and drop it in. There's quite a few things we need to do to uh, set up Reaper to work with video files. First, let's go to the grid settings. That's this button on the main toolbar. Right click that, click on this area here and click frame. And we can close that. We're seeing this audio here. We don't want that. We can uh, right click this, go to source properties, ignore audio. But also we want to make sure that 1920 by 1080, that's our frame size and 29 point 97 frames per second is our frame rate. So we are going to close this. The waveform disappears. We don't need the audio to make a GIF. Now we're going to open up project settings. File to project settings. Now on the video page, we need to set our frame rate to 29.97 non drop frame. And preferred video size. It's the same already as our video footage. And items in higher number tracks replace lower tracks. We're going to change this. So if we put a text uh, item on track one, it's going to replace the video on track two. Now over in the track control panel here, I'm going to double click to make a new track. I'm going to drag that up above the first track. This is where we're going to put some text. And this is our video file. So, where's the video? We need to open up the video window. Click on the view menu and go to video window. You're welcome. You can just click and drag this to resize it. You can dock this if you want. I think we can handle this floating. I'm just gonna pull it down here. And the section of this video that I want is at about 140. Oh, there's a few other things we need to do actually. I'm going to turn off this button here to make fades and also in the options menu make sure that this option toggle auto crossfade on split is turned off we don't want or need fades in this file here from about here i don't know i think that part there is kind of funny so let's let's find the start of that scene Maybe right here. I'm going to press S to split. Let's select this first part and hit delete to remove that. Now let's scrub through here to find where the guy falls out and the scene changes. Right around there is probably fine. I'm going to hit S again. This item is selected, I'm going to hit delete. Now we just have this area here. And we can make a time selection in the ruler around it. Engage cycle so that we can see if this loops. I think that works. The length of that is two seconds. Actually, we need to check this and make sure that it's on frames. And so that's a four second, uh, four seconds long, just about five seconds long. That's our video clip that we're going to export as a GIF. Uh, let's add in some text here. So uh, with no items selected, I'm going to hold down command or control on PC and drag out. This will be a untitled MIDI item. Uh, you can also go to insert and click new MIDI item. This is just going to be an empty item that we can apply an effect to generate some text. You can see this little effects button here. If you're not seeing that in your version of Reaper, you need to go to preferences, appearance media, and this option here, no effects. You could also uh, click on here, go to item properties, and then take effects, and that will bring up your uh, effects chain for this item. And close this. 
you need the video processor. Click on all plugins right at the top, video processor, drag that on. So now this video processor uh, plugin is on this untitled MIDI item. Go to presets here and choose from the top area title overlay. And we can see it here. This is a title. Text I wanted was GTFO, LOL. And um, Command S to save. We don't want that on a background, so I'm going to turn that off. BG Alpha, background. Let's put this in the middle. So Y position 0.5, X position 0.5. That's pretty close to where Rico is standing there. Height's fine. Maybe change the text style to, um, well, let's try Arial Bold. That looks a little bit better. OK. Um, now, the actual timing of this item, where do we want that? Basically, we want, we want that to start there. So let's drag that over. And let's make a time selection again so we can see how big this is and play. All right. I just don't need it that long. The whole thing can be shorter too, I think. So now let's go to exporting. So file, render. All right, so we're going to do master mix time selection. Uh, let's put this on the desktop or something. Uh, desktop. Oh, OK. File name. Call this GT. Uh, JC for just cause underscore GTFO tank. Now we're not going to export this as an audio file. We want this video GIF option here. And the size, 1080p is pretty big for a GIF. So let's divide that in three. Off the top of my head, I can't do it. So 1920 divided by three, 640. Oops. 640 and 1080 divided by three, 360. 360. And frame rate, we can leave that the same, so it'll play back at the same speed. Preserve aspect ratio, because we're keeping the same aspect ratio, we don't need to do this. Uh, if we were resizing this to something different from the original, uh, different ratio, then we could add this in there. And uh, the video itself would not stretch or warp. It would put black bars to fill the frame. And that's it. Full speed offline. Don't really need to worry about this because it's uh, not audio. I'm going to render this. It'll take a second. All right, now let's look at the desktop. And here's our GIF. This is something that's totally different from what I normally do on the blog. I do a lot of video editing in Reaper. And a lot of times there's funny little things. Someone's face does something funny, and you want to uh, share that. And a lot of times, the easiest way to share something is with a GIF. It's really cool that you can export that from Reaper. Here's one that I did of myself from the last Q&A video. That's it, guys. I just wanted to show you this fun thing you can do with Reaper. It's cool that you can export GIFs. If you don't think this video is cool, give it a thumbs down. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Thanks a lot. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And check out reaperblog.net for a lot more tutorials.